Well, hey, people. Um, it's me here, Dell0304. Um, I'm gonna do a review on the KCO FX 300 MS um, scientific calculator. Um, so here we have the calculator. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. Sorry about that. It's pretty cool. Um. <coughs> Yeah, this is a two-handed job. Okay, there we go. Whatever works. Alright. So, here we have the calculator. Let me just uh, put it on the keyboard here. Uh, so here's the calculator. PCO. And there's a bunch of buttons. And to turn on, you just press on. And there we go. Now, this has a two-line display. One is like... Uh, that and then another one is like that so it has two lines of different types of displays this one's all pixely, this one's all digity okay so um, yeah I have to look in the manual because uh, I'm not sure what this SVPAM is I've never used a KCO calculator before so I don't know but, uh, and then to turn it off, you just press sh shift, off, which is, that says off right there. Oh, that says on. Sorry about that. You just press off. That also says off right there. So, yeah, that's how you turn it off. Um, let's look at the outside of it. It's pretty nice. Not much to look at on the back. Um... It's just your standard blue and black calculator. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, let me show you one thing. You can do multi replay uh, math problems. So you can do 3 plus 6 equals 9. And you could do 8 plus 9 equals 17. And 2 plus 3 equals 6. Five. So, and then you can use this little directional pad thingy to go back up to your. Hold on, wait. Okay. So you can go back up to your previous equation. If it'll let me. 8 plus 9, 3 plus 6. That was the first one we did. The second one we did. Third one. And then you can, like. Okay, wait. Okay. So you can shift clear this one. Delete. So you can you can clear all the equations you did, but eh, who cares? So yeah. There's that. It always and it always starts at zero. Sorry for me pointing at the keypad. I mean the keyboard there for a minute. Just trying to do something here. Alright, so there we go. This is the KCO FS FX 300 MS calculator. It retails for about $10. Half the price of regular calculators. And, uh, yeah, I recommend this for a, not a graphing calculator, but just, you know, your scientific, your pi, your times the square root of whatever, so all that. So I'd recommend that for this. Get KCO. It's better. Texas Instruments sucks. My Texas Instruments failed on me. Let me let me go get it. Yeah, I've never stopped in the middle of a video before, but let me go get it. Sorry about that. That must have made a really big bang. This is the calculator that failed on me. It's a Texas Instruments TS30 some TX30 S2 I think. I don't know. All right, let's open it. up. TI30X2S. 
This is a good calculator, but it sucks because the display went out on me. I mean, it didn't really like go out, but um, yeah, this is de again another two-handed job. Kind of snapping in a hard way. Snap. All right. So let's get to this little case like that. You can press where it's on. On. And then we'll have that, right? So you can type in 9 times 5. Look at the displays. It's all googly smacked. And you can press answer. It says that. Instead of 45. And the numbers are all whacked. It says 40 Google Smack. So there we go. We can do 789. That looks like 739. Equals 7 H blobbity chicken. It looks like an H. 7 H deformed 1. So yeah. So this is my calculator that broke. It sucks. I, I had another one of these, but I traded it. Um. So there's that. Um, so I think the KCO, let me just get a comparison here. This wasn't turning out to be a video that was going to be this long. Because I have to go to school pretty soon. So. Alright, so. Here we have the KCO. Actually, it, doesn't, it can't snap in like that. It, it doesn't work that way. It actually slides in. Alright. So let me just turn them both on here. On. That's the, uh, there's different displays. This is the Texas Instruments, and this is the Casio's. The, the Texas Instruments has a much smaller solar panel. See how big that one is? It's puny, big, puny, big, puny, big. Okay, sorry. So it's going to get a lot more power from the sun. Um, another thing, I have a gripe with this one. It just sucks. Okay. Now, that's uh, that's the end of the calculator video. You can stop watching if you don't want to hear me uh, babble on about something that I think you guys should know. Okay, so you, um, for any of you have who have been wondering um, why my screen name is Dell zero three zero four one, no, it is not because that was the only name available. Two. No, it was not because I just decided to make it up. It was because I like Dells from the 2003-03 to the 2004-04 years. So, that's pretty much why. If you didn't catch that, that's Dell. 03, which stands for 2003, and 04, which stands for 2004. So it's really saying a sentence. I like Dells from 2003 and 2004 best. That's why I named my screen name Dell 0304. For any of you who was wondering. So I'll see you guys later. Um, this has been a review of the Casio FX 300 MS and a little look at my last piece of crap calculator. So. I'll see you guys later.